Um, if you really want to start building your credit score, the very first thing you have to do off top is you need to know your credit history. You need to pull your credit report. Now, here's number two, you know, and and, and you want to build a, a credit score, you know, uh, Number two is you need to make the minimum payments on your credit cards on time, right? That prevents a late pay. If you're really going deeper into the people who like promoting other people's money and maximizing your credit score, they will say keep your balance below 30%, right? You know, missed payments are a sure way to drop a credit score. Let's just be real, all right? Even if you can't afford to pay off your card each month, try to make the minimum payment. That's what they will say, all right? Make the minimum payment, okay? If your minimum payment is $30 a month and your interest rate is 17%, just make the minimum payment. Don't worry about the interest penalties. Don't worry about uh, the, the penalties you pay. Just make the payment because the end goal is not financial freedom. The end goal is an 800 credit score. <laughs> <laughs> the end goal is not freedom. The end goal is a credit score. So please make your payment on time, okay? And can I just be real with y'all? I'm gonna be real with y'all up front, all right? Honestly, your creditors, they don't want you to pay off your credit card every month. You know, I get this, it was, oh man, I get the credit card and I pay it off every single month. Listen, if everyone in America, if everyone in America was paying off their credit cards without paying any interest, there would be no credit cards. We wouldn't have a system because there's no money in the system if everyone is paying it off on time and not paying interest. So I'm gonna be real with you all. Some of y'all gonna get upset, but I told you this year, we coming at it differently. I'm coming at it real. I'm coming at y'all the way I wish somebody would've came at me when I was young and I was thinking about doing some foolish stuff with my money, okay? You're not going, the majority of you all watching me right now who have a credit card, Let's be honest. I can't see your face, but you can see mine. You can't see everyone else's face who's watching and listening uh, to today's show. The majority of you all who got the credit card, this is what you said. I'm going to get it for an emergency, and I'm going to keep the uses below 30%, and I'm never going to pay interest. And 8 out of 10 of you all failed. You failed. You're paying 17, 21% of interest. You're carrying over a balance. You're racking up credit card debt and you're drowning in debt because you thought getting a credit card would help you get a credit score. And now look at you. You went and you financed that date. You went and you put that Gucci backpack, that Louis Vuitton backpack, that Chanel purse, that spring break on there. Listen, the creditors don't want you to pay it off on time. Now, I'm going to keep it a buck at the table. There are some of you all who are watching this right now and you don't pay interest. I'm not talking to the minority. I'm talking to the majority. For the first time today, I'm not talking to the minority. I'm talking to the majority of people in America who are sitting here saying this crap. I'm going to pay it off every single month and you're not. So you want to build your credit score? Make the minimum payment. Don't pay any interest. Okay. Making the minimum payment, even if you're accruing crazy interest over time, will slowly increase your credit score. Let's just be honest, all right? But while you're slowly increasing your credit score, you're also slowly, slowly, slowly racking up debt. Now, let's just be real. Let's say you have this, this credit score. Here's number three thing you got to do is communicate with your creditors. You got to communicate with your creditors. By now, you've probably got creditors and debt collectors calling you because you racked up all these credit card debts. You're not making them uh, the payments on time and you're struggling. I get it. I understand, you know. And so now you probably have creditors actually calling you saying, hey, you know, Mr. Such and Such, Miss Such and Such, you, you're late on the payments. You know, before we send in the collection agency, we just want to communicate so we could work on the payment. OK, if you want to boost your score, it might be time to talk with your creditors and work out a deal before it gets to the collection agency. You see, your creditor may be able to get you on a payment plan, but be warned, debt collectors can sneaky and will say anything to get you to make payments. Know your rights. If you are at a point to where you are now in collections, all right, and you're trying to save your score, right? Um, I remember being in collections and I remember calling people and lying to them, trying to scare them, disrespecting them uh, just so I can get a payment. All right. Just so I can get a payment. But 
if the creditors are harassing you or threatening you, let me be real with you, be sure to record the messages and report them to authorities because it is illegal for them to threaten you. It is illegal for them to be calling around, you know, all your neighbors because there's this thing called skip tracing to where they can, you know, find out where you live and then call other people around you. Call your family, call your friends, call some of your, call your job and call, check this, I used to do this. I would call your job and if you didn't pick up, I would just change like the last number on your number or I would call the, the the big, the whatever the main office line is and ask to speak to someone else. And they, yo, hello, is such and such at the office today? Cool. No, she's not in today. But can you tell the such and such from such and such? And unfortunately, we may have to be have her served today and she wants to know why she's going to be served. I have her, have her to give me a call. I have him to give me a call. I, mean, I used to do so much stuff. Um, and you know what? If you don't report it, they're not going to get in trouble. And I used to scare people. I used to scare people. I used to scare people because they racked up all this debt. But if they wouldn't have racked up all this debt, they wouldn't be getting phone calls. But you all want to know, how do you build a credit score? How do you build a credit score? You're not asking me, how do we build wealth? People ask me, how do I build a credit score? And I get so frustrated, so I say, let me answer this today. Number one, you gotta check your credit history. Number two, you gotta make the minimum payments and keep your credit below 30% of usage. Number three, you gotta communicate with the, you know, with the creditors, especially if you're going into collections. Number four, you gotta pay down your balances as much as possible to lower your credit usage percent. Lenders like it when you're in debt. Let me say this again. Lenders love it. They are in love with you when you are in debt, but they don't necessarily like it when you max your credit cards out each month and you do not pay them back. <laughs> they want to see you in debt. They want to see you drowning in debt. As long as you coming up to breathe, here go $30. Here go $20. Here go 100 No, they want you drowning. As long as you come up to breathe. They don't want you on the surface. They don't want you swimming and soaring and enjoying freedom. No, they want you drowning as long as you don't die. Ah! Let me say that again. They want you drowning as long as you don't die. Because if you die financially, you can't pay them back. But if you're drowning, you can come up and catch your breath and then go back under, come back up, catch your breath and go back under. They are in love with you. Because you're trying to keep a score, they're trying to feed their families. Oh, you're trying to keep a score to get a score, and they're trying to put money into their grandkids' future. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So number four, pay down your balance as much as possible to lower your credit usage percentage, okay? What do some experts say in this whole area? Aim to pay off 70% of your balance. If you can keep the balance around 30% of your overall credit, your credit score will start increasing. So pretty much pay off some of the debt and keep some of the debt, stay in debt so you can get a score. This is probably like the hardest show I've ever done because I hope y'all see where I'm going here it's like number five right it's keep old accounts open keep old debt accounts open if you have an old you know credit account that you're not using oh just keep the debt open you know just just keep it open that makes it looks like you know you have a full credit history and more responsibility with your, cre your credit. Okay, yeah. So go ahead and keep that debt line on, line on them open. So if something does happen, you can jump back to that rather than using cash. You could jump back into debt. You could jump in and rack up more debt rather than going to your emergency savings account and avoiding debt. Yeah, yeah. You want to build a score. You don't want to build wealth. You want to build a score. Yeah, just keep that account open just in case you need to rack up some more debt. That's how you build a score. Number six, add yourself to someone's account who has good credit. Go put yourself, you know, go ask them if they can put you on as an authorized user so you can build your credit score. Yeah, yeah, So that way when they go out there and they max out their Lowe's credit account or their, you know, their Home Depot account, yeah, you're going to get the max out too. Now you're just oh, great. Your score is going up. 
Your score is going up. Your score. But not your freedom. Not your financial peace. Not your wealth. Not the things that really make a difference. You know, if you follow these tips, over time, your credit score will improve. Let me just be honest. You, you'll get to the 700, 800 score, but it's not going to help you build true wealth. Paying off your debt, saving cash, investing your money, coming up with a clear vision, and you're sticking to that vision, whether that's with you by yourself or whether that's with you and your spouse, that's with you and your spouse and your family, your kids, that will build wealth. When you die, your credit score can't be passed down to your kids. It can't. But what you have in investments, what you have in ownership, what you have accumulated when it comes to wealth can be passed down to your kids. And I remember chasing a score thinking that was the best way to build my wealth when it wasn't. Now, let me be honest with you guys. Let me be honest with you. Let me be honest with you. At this season of my life, I'm not knocking people who want to go the credit card route, the credit score route, the OPM route, other people's money. If that's what you want to do, I'm going to be real with you. I'm not your guy. 